So we're trying to get ready for a hike, but we're already experiencing a problem. What is that problem, Trevor? Um, so apparently we're here at the parking lot and we are already being attacked by mosquitoes. And so the problem is, is that we're gonna have a problem with mosquitoes on this hike and we do not have bug spray. And we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking, and Trevor's getting eaten, and we're walking. <laughs> oh no, I fell, I'm okay. And we're walking. Woo! Woo! This is definitely a beautiful hike right through here. How much I would love to actually just stand here and enjoy the peace and beauty. <laughs> But, Sally, we got a speed walk because we're being eaten alive by mosquitoes. Ah! I have to put my hood up under my hat. This is what I'm being reduced to. What? They were That's cute. around my ears. <laughs> so, Kathy has been eating a little more junk food than me recently. Oh, so, on. I'm thinking that she's a little sweeter than I am. So, no, oh, they pizza. love her. It was a good pizza. <laughs> shoo, shoo. <sighs> <sighs> You found blue. Is it bear? Ah, it's bear scat. Sweet. I can't admire it because I'm being eaten by mosquitoes. Run, run. Run. All right, whoa. Please move forward. <laughs> I gotta poke the bear spray. I mean, bear poop. I gotta see how fresh it is. Oh, it's old. Oh. We're not good. What? Just, just walk forward, please. Walk. <laughs> My wife is being quite demanding in this situation. You can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop. It has begun. I'm starting to itch. Oh no. I've been bitten. <sighs> Kathy, oh, oh, wait, this is wait, the wait, end. Wait, does this mean you're gonna turn into a mosquito? When the moon is full? It's like the worst horror story ever. <laughs> yeah, you're not even something cool. No. <laughs> I prefer the werewolf. Or a bear. Or a bear. A, a bear. a bear. A bear. But a, a wear a wear mosquito. Oh, if I was a little Red Riding Hood, I'd be more afraid of that than the werewolf. She didn't have a werewolf in her store. She just had a wolf. I'd be more scared of that than the wolf. So yeah, she. Uh, it doesn't talk about in the story how she was running away from mosquitoes or anything like that. Apparently, she had a nice woodsy walk, probably because she brought along bug spray. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, I'm just curious about how many video clips you think we can make of bugs. Actually, mosquitoes. Actually, there's a nest in that tree. What kind of nest is that? I think it's an osprey nest. See, see, see? We have a change in focus. No longer it's about mosquitoes, but now it's about the bird nest and mosquitoes. Ah. Oh, there's a bird in there. It flew away. That was totally an osprey. <laughs> okay, so Trevor, uh, how spooky is this on level of one to 10? Um, dark forest with a lot of tall coniferous trees, very lush green. Super dense, full of a bunch of mosquitoes. I want to give it a six or seven. Actually, I want to go for more of a seven because of the mosquitoes. It's in spooky level, it's seven. <laughs> <laughs> so mosquitoes make it spookier. Oh, very much. I love your spooky level. That's, that's <laughs> great. That's a great way to measure spookiness is how many bugs are there. If there wasn't mosquitoes here, I would give it a four. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how that works. <laughs> Oh no, stagnant water. That's breeding ground for mosquitoes. Abort, abort. Danger zone, danger zone. We're under attack. This is not a trail. This is not a trail. Ah, ah, ah. Remember kids, it's probably not a good idea to run on the trails in bear country. That's why we're walking still, even though there's stagnant water and there's tons of mosquitoes and they keep biting Trevor. Yeah, paradise, right? So, you know, 
you're pretty brave to like come out here and walk trails by yourself and everything. Well, either brave or stupid. The only stupid thing you did was forget the bug spray. Fair enough. <laughs> so the sky's gotten darker and we heard distant thunder, which means that there is a potential storm coming our way. We, we are not going to get struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> on the bright side at least the rain will wash away the mosquitoes but of course once the rain stops then the mosquitoes will quadruple and attack us by the quamillions i totally made that word up you know when the rain is going to start right it's it, going to start when we get back to the vehicle yeah probably that's when it's going to start mm. i honestly could see that happening yeah yeah <laughs> yeah they, the mosquitoes have seriously gotten worse. This is actually not cool anymore. I even got blood smears on my arm from smashing mosquitoes that have already bitten me. I've like tried to cover myself up as much as possible and they're like finding their way out my forehead and inside and just ugh. They're very invasive. <laughs> they do oh, not know my boundaries. I just squished one on the side of my face. Oh, <laughs> this is horrible. You got more paint going on now. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, it happened. Guys, it happened. He put on his rain jacket. It's not even raining, but he put it on his rain jacket. That's terrible. Can you even see me through the cloud of <laughs> thick mosquitoes? It, it's pretty torture. thick. I don't like it. Hard to film. I was offering to film that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bit of a breeze right here next to the lake shore, which is great because it kind of blows the mosquitoes away. So the population of mosquitoes have declined, but are not gone. There's still mosquitoes around here. But anyways, check that out. Look at that weather. We definitely have some rain coming in our direction. But we're at one end of the lake. So we are basically halfway done. So I think we can actually finish the loop and go all the way around the lake back to the vehicle before it gets dark, before there's a big storm, and before we get eaten alive by all these mosquitoes. Ah! 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 Mosquitoes! They're on my face. And Kathy's snorting them in her nose again. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put your raincoat on before while we're here? You think it's going to rain? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you haven't liked and subscribed by now, why haven't you? Because uh, I suffered for this <laughs> and I need you to subscribe to this man's channel right here. This guy, this guy, this guy, this crazy guy who took his wife out here and was like, let's look for grizzly bears. And uh, all we found were a bunch of mosquitoes and pain and some blood. Oh, and an osprey, that was pretty cool. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I'm glad my wife came with me on this expedition. <laughs> it's so nice that I don't have to suffer alone. Misery loves company. Love you, honey. Love you too. <laughs> we have a nice open meadow here. This seems like an appropriate spot to see a bear, but all I get is mosquitoes and my wife. Yeah, sorry. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I have my wife. Aw, there you go. Now I won't tackle you. Oh, thank goodness. I was scared. Look, 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 look. I hear rumblings. So those are American white pelicans soaring away from the storm. So we're on the west side of the lake right now. We're almost halfway. We're, we're close. So if we keep on the path that we are walking, we should eventually walk around that direction to the other side of the lake. And then we hike all the way back. But we are now probably about three miles in, or three miles from the trailhead, which is not too bad. It is a nice view. Beautiful. If you love approaching thunderstorms, And here comes the rain. The mosquitoes are gone a little bit, moreish, yeah. <laughs> There's still a few still hanging around us, stalking us.
but we now have a light sprinkle. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this too. Once it starts becoming a downpour with roaring thunder, uh, I'll be less okay with this. I, I, I may be a little less okay with it too, especially if there is lightning. Why are you repeating everything I say? <laughs> Why are you repeating everything I say? <laughs> All right. We are now hiking out here in these open meadows, covered in sagebrush, surrounded by trees, and also filled with a bunch of these beautiful flowers. Beautiful flower. Aww, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. And it has stopped raining, so the sprinkle has disappeared. So right now we just have a bit of a cloudy overcast above us. Still could hear the rumbling thunder in the distance. The mosquitoes have basically disappeared. This hike has now become, would you say amazing? A lot better than what it was. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Definitely yeah. a lot better. Yeah. yeah. Which, yeah. which is good. Uh, I would put it in the category of amazing if we saw a bear. Yeah, that would be uh, definitely in the category of amazing if we just see a bear. You just repeated what I said. I just I repeated know what she did. The camera so. can hear me. Stop stealing my lines. So we have potentially reached the halfway point now. So now we have about four plus miles until we get back to the trailhead. And there has definitely been a change in the mood on this hike. So the storm is now moving away from us. So it is no longer raining. It's gotten quieter. Can't even hear the thunder anymore. And we'll be hiking on the north side of the lake. And at this moment, there are like no mosquitoes around, which is really nice. So the search for grizzly bears, once again, continues. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> So, I actually have a bit of a knee injury on a my bit. left knee. A bit. Yeah. Just a bit, guys. And I'm actually taking some physical therapy right now to make it stronger. I thought that this would be a nice, simple hike, but I have to say that it's hurting just a little bit. And we keep going up, which adds to the pain a little bit. Note to self, one day of physical therapy does not magically make the knee better. Uh, no, I could have told you that. Why didn't you ask me? I would have told you that. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. that's what I'm here for. Is this not something? Man, what a view. We climbed up hill to get to this. <laughs> it was worth it. Was worth it. Was worth it. Was worth it. it was worth it. Uh, I'm a little out of breath. That was a lot of and W's still in pain. there. Yeah, <laughs> out of breath and still a little in pain. But holy cow, talk about view. This is gorgeous. I love it. Ah, things like this makes me love it out here even more. I'm satisfied. Well. We haven't seen a grizzly yet. <sighs> yeah. I'm almost completely satisfied. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, but those Tetons, jeez. Don't you just want to go up and just kiss them? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, no, Trevor. I do not want to go up and just kiss them. Climb them, maybe. Kiss them, no. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> my poor wife got tired and dropping energy. So I had to sacrifice my apple. You seem really sad about that too. I was looking forward to that apple. You don't even like apples that much. I was converting. Mm -hmm. I like apples. You like apples now? I like apples. Okay. Look at that. She bit it. Yeah, because I'm hungry and you don't want me dragging on you. <laughs> Would you just move on? Come on! <laughs> it's very delicious too! Uh, oh yeah, rub it in, why don't you? Ah, oil! Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? Well. I have an orange. That's for me! Travis has got a tasty trail treat. My orange.
Ugh, you're making a mess. <laughs> I gotta eat it before Kathy takes it from me. I'm not gonna take it from you. My own. Uh, yes, we all know that. Catch all curries. It does taste pretty good. But also, the orange peels, I am sticking them in my pocket. Because, you know, leave no trace. Oranges don't belong out here in this environment. So you definitely don't want to leave orange peels out here because it's not natural. So Or apple cores. Or apple cores. Yes, thank you, Kathy. So any kind of snack you're eating, whether it's fruit or a granola bar, remember, leave no trace. So even if you're eating like a banana, the banana peel, do not throw it on the ground. Stick it in your pack, stick it in your pocket, carry it out with you. Leave no trace. You pack it in, you pack it back out. Tasty. Slurpy. I love it. You know, the second half of our hike turned out to be better than the first half of our hike. Because there's not a whole lot of mosquitoes. And the views are great. I second that. <laughs> rainbow. Ooh, rainbow. Double rainbow. Double rainbow. So that's the other end of the rainbow. Uh, we think it is a complete arch. I mean, even with the tree not being in the way, it, uh, it still gets pretty fuzzy in the middle and hard to see. But yeah, pretty cool. The sun has now disappeared beyond the mountains. And it is now after 9 p.m. So we have officially been hiking out here for about five hours or a little more than five hours, which is great. So it's definitely been a long and beautiful hike. We went through a lot of misery at the beginning as we fought numerous mosquitoes and tried to escape with our lives, barely getting out of there in one piece. And we are now on the north side of this lake on our final league, back to the car, and this beautiful and tranquil environment as Kathy slaps away a few more straggling mosquitoes that continue to follow and bug us on this hike. <sighs> I'm at peace out here. This is great. How about you? I feel good, but my legs and feet hurt. You're cute. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> we're not out yet. We are still walking. We are still hiking. Two miles ago, we were supposed to be at the car, and then two miles before that, and two miles before that, and two miles before that, and we're still walking. It is now getting pretty dark out, and we are walking through some dense vegetation in this deep, dark forest, which is pretty insane especially knowing that there's a bunch of grizzly activity out here no we haven't had any grizzly sightings today but even though the sun is gone and it is getting dark does not mean the grizzlies are going to bed yet no 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 they're probably still out foraging and looking for some food you know before those bedtime hours and Kathy's back there clapping to reassure the grizzlies let them know that we're on our way so we don't surprise any. But hey, we're almost to the car or to the trailhead. We have about a couple miles to go, right? You said that a couple miles ago. Wow, it is pretty dark through here. Yeah, that's why I started class. <laughs> <laughs> we got this, Kathy. I got a scene to let the bears know that we are coming in their direction don't want to surprise a grizzly out here in this dark landscape so we got a scene to let the bears know that we are hiking in this direction we're almost there to the trailhead maybe just two more miles Woo! all right friends kathy and i have officially made it back to the vehicle it We're is not dead. 
Not dead, yes. It is dark, y'all probably can't see us right now. It is 10 o'clock. We have officially been hiking for six hours in grizzly dense territory. We have no had no grizzly encounters, which is all right. It was still fun. And then once the sun went down, we started making extra noise to make sure the bears know we were coming because it made it harder to see and we did not want to surprise any grizzly bears in the dark. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful expedition as we explore and discover the beauty of nature. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Trekking with Trevor, if you want to see more adventures. And make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss out on our next wonderful adventure.